So over the years of doing RedMC and Redditor editing and all the things I've been doing for 2K over the years, I've picked up a lot of different tricks of how to use OpenOffice and any other pretty much uh, spreadsheet program to do a lot of the dirty work for me. And I'm going to try to share some of that with you right now. Uh, so you can open up OpenOffice Calc. This is a free program. I, I don't know if I like it better than Excel or not, but it's free. So let's try to think of something that we can do. Oh, we can close that with uh, RedMC. So let's open up a current roster, and let's say I want to take a bunch of random players and I want to put them on the 76ers, because F it, why not? So, yeah, we'll just take some random players and we'll copy them over. What we need is their ID. So, let's go through, we'll just take a couple players. Um, there's no real good way to do this, I guess is the best way to put it, especially right now. And we'll just take some of the hidden players too, because why not? Just to fill it out. Whoops. Whoa. That was an interesting way to do it. And we might get that every once in a while, so just tab it out. So here are the players that we're going to put on the 76ers, because why the hell not? Um, the difficulty with this is that there's two things to edit for this to be proper in the, within the game. Make sure is F, Make sure they're not in the free agents team, make sure the team ID is updated, and make sure they're actually on the team. So in the Teams tab, which again requires the actual uh, license for the team, the part of the roster that decides where, if the a player is on a team or not, right or not, is right here with the uh, roster. You need to be able to change this and update it easily. So let's say I did this with multiple teams. I got tons and tons of players, and I want them on different teams, and I need to get all of these values going um, left to right instead of up to down. The easy way to do this is to select it, right click, press space special, you can just paste it all, it's okay, and then transpose. And then we have all of these laid out properly for the uh, roster. And I just deselected that, I didn't want to do that. Go up, thank you. Now to get a player number, easy way to do that is you can do e equals count, I believe and we can just count all the values that go over here. So that way if you have teams that are of different sizes, um, so let's say the next team only has this many people, you can just drag this down and only count seven. So that's the player number, which you also need to make sure you update. Um, and then you can just add the negative ones after it for no player. So I can just go here, click this, this player number here, paste that in, and that's how you use transpose to do that. If you have the My Friend panel, which again is an extra cost, and you have to have the My Friend panel and modding interfaces to do this, you can go ahead and uh, click anywhere in the 76ers, go over to Roster, Filter and View, and this will filter out only those 76 players, excuse me, 76ers players that we chose in the Players tab. So now I can go through and update the uh, team ID. So we know that we have this many players, so we'll copy this into OpenOffice, paste it. Now, I want to make sure that all these are zero. And again, this is a very quick way to do it. It's very limited. It'd be very easy just to go zero, 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 blah, 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 or using the global editor inside RedMC. But the way I do this, we'll go cancel this out. So we paste them in, and then I, I say I want the value to be zero. So I copy that, Control-C, Control-Z, to get rid of them. But as you can see, it already selected all these cells. So if I do paste, that zero, it fills all of them in. So I can then copy this and paste it there and paste it there. And now all of the team IDs are all set. And I can go searching for is FA, which is back over here. And I can just paste this here to make sure that there, none of them are free agents. Um, where this is really, really useful. <laughs> Let's go to the jerseys tab. And we'll get rid of my friend just to make this run a little bit faster. Let's say I want to have all the things, all the uniforms be uh, um, a t-shirt uniform. And that's a jersey model eight or seven or eight is what we need. Oh, let's throw that back. So what I can do is just do a control click right here to select all of them. And I could, I could of course do control AG and do the global editor, but let's say you don't have access to this. So you do a control click, copy that, bring it in here paste great now you can see we have all these things here 
too difficult to get them all, so we just put eight there, copy it, control Z, control Z, paste, control, copy again, and then we just paste it in there, and now they're all eight. Nice and simple, quick way to do that. Um, stuff like with uh, uniforms like this. So let's say I created my own uniform tab, and let's say I want to use, I, I have those uh, pickup uniforms from a uh, razor that he made last year. So this pickup 0000 through 26. So we're gonna have zero through 26. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm just gonna randomize these throughout all of the uniforms. So zero through 26, pick up in front of it. Do, 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 copy, paste that. Now, this is wrong in two ways. I need to have the zeros here. So we click here, select all of them, and we want to format cells. We want to have a couple leading zeros. So that way they all get their zeros. Select all of this, open up Notepad, paste all this in, and then we go to Control H, Find and Replace. We're going to copy, select and copy the tab here, replace all, and now they all go away. Copy that, and there's that. Fantastic. Um, we want to, let's say, we want to randomize the order so that the teams aren't, you know, having the same uniform over and over again. So let's type in Rand. And we will do that. And then you click here, click up here, and do a sort. And it will randomize all of that, which is fantastic. This is a quick and dirty way of doing it. There's better ways to do randomize and stuff. So this is the, or the randomized order of pickup uniforms that we're going to use. So then you can go ahead and click here, copy for all of the uh, textures. Paste here. OK. Go ahead, select all of these, copy. Control Z, undo that, but see it's still selected, and you paste it in, and it just copies this order over and over and over and over and over again, all the way down. Copy, click back over here, paste. And now all the uniforms throughout are going to use those pickup uniforms. Uh, we also need to turn on use custom colors, so another cheap trick I like to use is if I can look elsewhere in the unif in the roster to see if there's a uh, line, uh, an entire column that's all one, um, all ones or all zeros or all twos or whatever. You can just control click to cl select all of them, control C to copy, and I can just paste those suckers right in there. So now we'll use custom colors instead of the uniform coloring, the creative team coloring, if you will. The other issue is let's say I reordered all these colors and I want to reflect that over here. When you do uniforms, it can be very difficult to uh, replicate the GIDs like this. Um, you have to go, you know, one one, or excuse me, one one three one three one, one one three three four four five five. That's a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. So what you can do is just go zero through thirty one, and we'll right click thirty and delete and shift cells up. Um, because that's the one of the all-star teams. Here's the other one, seven, delete, shift cells up. And then you go like this, copy all of that, paste it underneath, and then you can do a sort to get them behave like that. So you have home and away, home and away, home and away, all set up like that. And if you really want to uh, make sure you have the GIDs and everything all proper, this is just a click and drag. Oops and you can reorder them as needed. So the Bobcats show up where they're supposed to, Wizards show up at the end, and I think there's another one that's screwed up like that too. Um, yeah, the Thunder being renamed screwed things up. Um, and these are actually supposed to be flip-flopped. Just because of how 2K um, orders everything. 25, 25, 26, 26. Bring these up, bring this down. And there you go. And now I've replicated this nice and easily. I could have also just simply click here, scroll up, copy, paste, and had it like that. There's different ways to do it. <laughs> I'm just trying to show some of my quick and easy ways of resorting everything. If I do a mass thing like I did with my uh, street mod that I'm trying to work on. Um, the other thing is, let's say the names are screwed up here. 
um, you can either go to help tutorials and load up the field and values tutorial by Mad Dog. He does amazing work with this thing every year. And these are the list of names for this right here. So you know what to replace it with. So we want home and away. So here's home, and he, or here's away. And away is the second one. Paste that there. And where's home? H, 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 H. And paste that there. So what I can do is if I know we have this many uniforms, just these 60 for the practice uniforms, copy that, select here, select there, paste it, copy, and paste it. And then we'll have home way, home way, home way, home way. What happened there was that these are formatted. So I can copy that, cut it actually. Open up notepad again, paste them in here, control, copy, cut, paste. Okay, that removes the formatting from them, and then I can copy them back into RedMC. <sighs> or not. What the hell, man? <laughs> Why aren't you working? Why don't you accept my names? Hmm. Well, it usually works like that. Um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a lot of little different things, and I don't know really a good way to succinctly wrap them all up that I've learned with this. Um, as you may have seen in the other video where I was comparing um, two different types of uh, of uh, the column names from 2K13 to 2K14, I used an if command, which is, are fantastic. So I can say equals if this column is equal to this column, then display yay with the quotes. If not, oops, if not, display, nope. And I can just drag this down and it'll let me know when things are different. Um, it, it, there's a lot of little different things like that. And uh, that's just the really quick and dirty way that I do things with uh, spreadsheets, kind of for advanced quick roster editing. Hope this helps. Um, if I think of any others that I missed or if I come up with any new ones, I'll try to do a new video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.